Hello and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. My name is Emma. This is Once Upon a Quest. I've got my Android Blue Circle on and we're going to continue on with Kara's story next. So let's go. November 5th, same day, back to Kara and Alice. Oh, he's passed out. Thank goodness. Todd. Todd, that's his name. I couldn't remember his name. He's a violent, violent man. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I really, I really want to know what happened to the mom. When did he start using drugs? Was it after the mom died? Was it before? Was, is there a reason that he takes it all out on the android? Like, is the android, I'm trying to think, was Kara maybe there with the mom when she died or something like that and then he's like in a really messed up way blaming her for her death or something like you know that's what that's my current speculation because i do like to speculate yes i do can i uh check on alice what's she what's she do when she's oh she's reading her alice in wonderland book. oh poor kid poor kid Ooh. Serve food. Okay, let's go. Spaghetti bolognese. A classic. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Uh, napkin? Life's funny. Water? I lost my job because of androids. Oh. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Get an android. A fucking android. Yeah. So he lost his job because of androids? That's why he hates them. But he's still using them. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired, never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. Should I walk away? Oh. What are you looking at? Can't walk away. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Took off? Oh, I thought she was dead. Taking drugs, Todd. Oh. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. Oh, that's what happened. Fault. Oh, my God. Stop taking it out on the kid. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now! So can the android protect the kid? That's going against her instructions, isn't it? So I bet that's what happened last time though, right? You stay that's there. Probably why he Don't killed her before. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. See? See? Uh, what's your worse than us? Okay, don't move. Okay, I guess we don't move then because he really did kill us before. So he'll probably do it again. Off, a word. I thought the mom was... I thought she was dead. But she left. No! Hmm. Shit about how I felt. And she, he was using drugs when they were together. I could to make her happy. And then she left, so enough. that answers I that just question. Wasn't good enough for her. I'm being a good android and I'm not moving because I don't want him to beat the shit out of me. That little fucking brat. Because he's not bluffing. Oh, it's all her fault! Back. It's not 
The kid's fault. Oh my god, she has nothing to do with anything. Oh, it's a really awful situation. When do you think it's safe to move? I'm wait I'm kind of waiting for him to like calm down a bit. I don't know if he's gonna because he's taken some drugs now, so maybe he'll just like conk out again. Relax a bit, and then I'll go up and see the girl. Why is he taking his belt off? No, don't do Alice, it. No, no. That is very mad. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. No. Oh, I want to stop him. Fucking lesson. Oh my god, but if I stop him, he's going to beat the shit out of me. And I feel like this character, because I know that the game has told me that characters can die. Okay, well, now that he can't see me. Oh! Look what happens when you move. Don't move, don't move, don't move. R1. I'm breaking my instructions. Oh, cool. We're breaking through. Oh, I've got a red circle now. You did it! <gasps> Protect Alice! New directive! New directive! Am I gonna get this character killed? Am I? I don't know. Go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Where is her- where is her bedroom? Which room is it? Shit, which room is it? Is it this one? You're on good. Stop! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? He's you don't want the shit out of me. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Oh, oh, we can dodge. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to fight back. Oh, my God. If we end up, if we end up killing him. Oh, my God. Come here, bitch. Oh, his controls are strange. Okay. I think we're getting the hang of it. Um, is this what I'm supposed to do? Shake the controller. <laughs> but if we kill him, we're going to be in big trouble. Hey, I pressed it. Oh my god, oh my god! Ooh. I missed it. Ooh. I feel like I'm about to get her killed. Or him killed. No, okay, good. Because if he dies, then we would be in big trouble. Alice, honey. Alice. Look, look. Daddy's wounded. Big little girl. Come. No, don't do it. Come. Don't do it, Alice. Come now, Daddy. What the heck? You bitches. Don't trust Come him. Here. Come back here. But where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Where's the stairs? Where's the stairs? Where's the stairs? Uh... Oh, wait! I didn't get to choose! Hey! I didn't realize that was a time limit. Oh my god. I wanted to go to the garden. I'm... Hey, I'm pressing these buttons and nothing's working. Oh god. Ugh. Why isn't it not working? I'm doing it. This is stressing me out, these fucking controls. It missed three that I did. I pressed the things, I did the controller. Come back here! 
Okay, we still survived. Where are we gonna go, though? On the bus? Do I have to go in the, the separate android compartment? Ooh, I'm not going in there. I'm defying the laws. Oh my lord. So now we're on the run. This can't last though, because I'm an android and she's a child and he's gonna have like probably the police looking for us. So... What are we gonna do? Kara and Alice fought their way out. I guess the other outcome of that was that Kara was probably gonna be killed by him. There was like a good few things that I missed in that action sequence and I thought I was I thought I was gonna pay for that. But luckily we got away. What else? Todd gets mad. Break programming. So if you don't break programming, the other option only has two other little branches there. So I'm thinking that if you don't break the programming, he beats the shit out of Alice. And then what? I don't know. Kara becomes deviant. Oh yeah. We've become deviant now. Go upstairs. So I guess there's no coming back from being deviant because now that we've broken through the wall, I guess we're just considered deviant like all the other ones. And we're going to be taken down by the police and snipered and killed and maybe rebuilt. Memories wiped. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could have gone upstairs sooner, but I think that might have made things worse if I had broken sooner, you know? Maybe, I guess maybe if we had gone upstairs first, well, I don't know. Would we have snuck out or something? I don't know. Oh boy, that was intense. That was intense. I thought I was getting her killed because I thought he was going to beat me up. And he almost did. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. <gasps> to the drink cart. Hooray. Also, I'm just wondering if, like, shouldn't Scots there be, like, need as usual? child protective Absolutely. laws where okay, but you androids know what your would say. can protect children? Yeah, well, you can like, kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose know. my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No. Oh, no, I'm sure has I didn't. the sun broken in and stolen some art? Call the police. To sell it for money. Yep. Detroit police? What's your ah, We just called straight this away from Carl her. Manfred's Android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. A thingy. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Okay. Are Marcus, you coming? No, I'm going to come with you. Oh, okay. Sorry. Tick, tick. No, they're long gone. I think Leo came and stole some artwork to sell it and he's gone. Oh, he's here. Hello. Leo. What are you mm -hmm. doing? What you doing there, Leo? You refused to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Oh my god. Okay, we're doing another fight, I guess. Come on, Leo. Advise, warn, warn. Look, Let's I've warn already him. called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into we, more We don't want to get violent. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Mm. Not good enough for you? 
not perfect. <laughs> like this fucking thing. That's enough. enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't? Leave him alone. <laughs> Come on, let's see what you got. Uh oh. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't defend yourself. Don't do anything. That's what he said. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. This is not fair. Look, he's Stop having it. thoughts. Too much of Don't defend myself. See. This is not Stop fair. It, this is not Leo. fair. Look at that. That's so interesting. Here to fight back, you fucking bitch. Oh. I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. He's gonna do it. Oh. What if we don't, though? Just want to see what happens if we don't do this. Do we have a choice not to? We have a choice not to. Do, do we not? Well, I guess it's forcing me to do this. Yeah, I guess it's kind of making it's kind of making us do it. All right, let's go. Now, I'm gonna be a deviant as well. Everyone's gonna be a deviant. Oh right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm gonna destroy you. And then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. Endure. Nobody's gonna Endure. Because you're nothing. You hear me? Let's you're try and nothing. not get violent until the last minute. Until we have to. But then the police are gonna come and then we're gonna be in trouble. Carl, no! And now Carol is having a heart attack or something. Uh, oh, Carl. Uh oh. You was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please no. don't go. He don't can leave. cry. He's Remember got tears. Marcus, don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. Oh, he no. called him dad. Please. He actually called him dad. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Whoa. All right, Leo, take a seat. You just killed your father. Okay, the yeah, android. they're going to the obviously, obviously go for the android. Yeah, and he's red and he's deviant. Oh, Lord. Now, I didn't have any other choice other than to to break through there. Because I, try, I tried to not press anything and it was just like, there's nothing happening. So I think I had to break through. Carol lies of heart attack. So obey Carol. There's another option there, which, yeah, I don't know. The other option would have been to disobey Carol. But we did that anyway. So I'm not really sure what the other option would have been there. Let's continue. Does that mean that he's... Why'd you kill him? Dead. What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Because where can you go? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Software instability. Flashed up. Is that for little. me? Is that for Connor? After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. Oh. What should we do Self-destruct? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? <laughs> yeah. Go Shut ahead. up. Suspect's Shut all up. yours. Stupid police officer laughing at me. Alrighty, let's go, Connor. I I'm so interested to know about this religious thing that was in the bathroom. Hopefully we can ask him about it. I don't know if he's going to tell us anything. Also, you would think that interrogation at Android, they would just like do it by downloading files off them or something like plugging in plugging them in downloading some files and then they're like oh yeah but they're interrogating them like 
a human, which is interesting. Uh, let's see what who we look at here. What the fuck is it doing now? <laughs> Browse file. Can we talk to him. Sit. All right, let's do this thing. Analyze. Analyze. Okay. What's up here? Is yellow. Signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction low. Okay. What else have we got? Hit marks. Non-critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. Yeah, see these are classic self-defense wounds. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. Huh. Housekeeper, uh, model HK four hundred. Okay. Do 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 do. There should be one more clue somewhere. Oh, here. Dried blood. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk to him. Reach optimal stress for confession, which is, okay, show photos, wounds, fear, um, name. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? The stress is going down, but we want his stress to go up. Do we want his stress to go up? I think so. Do we? I don't know. Let's look at the photos. <laughs> You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. The stress is going down. Why is it going down? <laughs> Let's put pressure on. To hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. Damn it, I keep the stress keeps going down. Okay, um, threaten. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Okay, stress going up. Probe memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Oh. Don't, please don't do that. Oh, they can do that. What? What are they going to do to me? Recycle you? I don't know. Everything. I don't know. Tell the truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Yeah. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was Truth. programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I, I can't. Choose approach. Pressure, probe its memory, convince it. Convince. Threaten. If you don't talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. They're going to destroy you. Yeah, okay, now the you stress understand? is in the... Sympathize. I don't want it to go too high. Oh, I don't know. I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. 
Damn it. Too low, too low. Is, the truth. is this? We need a little higher. A little more stressed. Oh. Warren? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. We need a little They're more stress. shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Okay, good. That's what we need. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. <sighs> Let's ask about the about the writing. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. And the statue. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. What? An offering so you'll be saved? The sculpture was an offering. Tell me an more. An offering to whom? To RA9. RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Oh my god, it's a computer program or something. RA9? RA9. Tell me more. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Oh. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Ah, it's a rebellion. That's so cool. <gasps> RA9. Tell me more. Who is RA9? Is it a is it a computer program? Is it an AI an AI an Android trigger? Trigger? When did you start feeling emotion? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. It's not fair. <gasps> That's what came I into felt it's not fair. Hatred. Marcus's and thoughts I knew what I had to do. were also it's not fair. Right before we fought Leo. Why did you hide in the attic? Hmm. Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Those problematic emotions happening. That's where it all begins. Alrighty. That's... that's rough. They're gonna... probably kill you now. I guess. I don't know. Chris, lock it up. Alright, let's go. Leave me alone! Don't touch me. Oh, the stress is going up. What the fuck are you doing? Intervene. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Oh, this is gonna end well. I can't let you do that. Leave it oh. alone now. We're physically intervening. You, motherfucker. Oh, Jesus. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. 
I said that's enough. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> The police are pointing guns at each other. What is happening? Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please. Mm. Well, I don't know about don't that. Don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Truth is inside. Or A9. It's a, some sort of computer program or something. Or A9. It's gotta be. It's in the software. It's in all of their software. Or A9. It's a file. It's something. It's something. The truth is inside. It's a dormant file that they all have. Okay. Three other outcomes that we could have had. Else, I mean, if we didn't get the inf confession. I don't know what would have happened. And the other option was probably it would have self-destructed if we didn't intervene there. Yeah, so after we kept intervening, then we got trust from that from the android. Interesting. And that's why he was he probably told us about ORA9, the truth lies inside, because because of that intervention. Interesting. All right, I really want to go to the cinema and see all those films. I really do. Are we still with Connor? Or are we back with with Kara and Alice on the bus? Is this yeah, probably. Is it? Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get in trouble. All right. End of line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Hey, where are we gonna go? We have to go. This kid, Alice, is so cute. Where do we go? Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Wow, so helpful. I mean, I'm sure the police are gonna be looking for us, so we're probably gonna get caught, brought home like straight away. Because you can't really hide being an android with one of these on your head. You gonna be okay? And being with a missing child. Suspicious. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Where can we go? Okay. Let's see. What have we got? Here we have something to look at over there. So maybe we should cross the road and look at this. What's behind us? Anything interesting? No. Okay, let's. Well, on, who are those? Hurry. Are they? Are they just androids? We'll cross the road and see something to interact with over here. Oh, we can ask them. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Okay, they're not talking to us, so there's a couple of places straight ahead, there's a place on the right. Anything over here? Oh, what's this? What's this? Examine? Won't open before morning. Okay. Down here? Open 24-7, can't stay. 
What's that? Comfortable but not discreet. We'll need money. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in? Okay. What's over there? Very uncomfortable but discreet. We could try uh, getting into this place. Maybe we can just hop over. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. You don't? Oh, okay, well. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. A cut fence with a wire cutter? Oh. How are we going to get a wire cutter? I don't know. But um, it's interesting that since she broke through... The barrier, she's like her facial expressions and like her tone of voice is like so much more alive now. So interesting. There's uh, nothing more this way. I don't know, maybe we can walk around and find a wire cutter somewhere. Or maybe there was somewhere we could buy one. Open 24-7, can't sleep here, ask for help. What is that? It's just a shop. Do you think they have wire cutters there? It does say find wire cutters, so... Ah! Why isn't... Why isn't the kid with me? Where is she? Why is she not coming with me? Where did she go? Is that her? Why aren't you following me? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Oh, God. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I'm looking for wire cutters. I know someone who can help you. You do? Huh? Is that how they transfer information? But that's to each other? Side of town. We need a place for tonight. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh. Know, will we try this shop and see if they sell wire cutters? Or wait, what's what's this? What's this thing? What's over here? Do 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 do. I don't know. I'm not seeing any wire cutters anywhere. And we don't have money to buy wire cutters anyway, do we? Even if we did find them in a shop. So, I don't think we're going to find them. Is there a way... Okay, I don't know. Can we go in here? Sleeping car, quiet house... Can we still find the wire cutters? Or have I locked us into sleeping in here? I don't know, let's see. What's over here? <gasps> there, is that one? Yes. Got it. What else is in here? An inside car. Cut fence. Okay, I think we should. Oh, what's over here then? Oh, we can cut this as well. Oh, this is maybe a back way into the other place that we wanted to be. Okay, let's go. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Shh. Her circle flickered red just for a second. So does that mean she's feeling pain? So let's think, like they might have, they might get emotions, but what about like physical sensory, like do Don't they worry, develop pain sensors? I don't know. Okay, so we 
We're trying to find our way into this house. It's so dark. This way? No. This way? Locked. Hmm. Alice? Alice! Uh oh. Where did she go? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Where did she go? Who is Wait, that? What are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Oh. Uh, oh. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Ooh, someone's already squatting here. What they did to Ralph. It's so dark, but it looks like he's maybe got burns on the side of his face. You can barely see it, though. Hospitality, leave. Hospitality? Listen, we really need some help. It would be so kind of you if you'd let us stay. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. Mm. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Um, I think we should leave. We better go. Yeah. Uh, I just, I think that would be a bad idea if we stayed and then he tried to attack like Alice or something. Cause she's a human. And also for him, it would be bad if they were looking for we have us. We to find somewhere. And then anywhere, just a place to spend the night. We got him caught, you know. Alice, we'll find something, I would I feel promise. pretty bad about that. Okay, we could just sleep in this car. It looks abandoned. Yeah, I mean, this will do. Guys. It's not comfortable, but it's very discreet, so it's probably it's probably the best place to be, I guess. Alice isn't going to like it, but. OK, I think we should just Sleep in the trash. inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Uh, I think we should stay here. I think it's safer. We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe, and it's just for tonight. Yeah, I think we just got to rough it. We got to rough it for this first night, and then hopefully tomorrow we can go to that place that that. Android told us about and get some help. Oh, she's distant now. She's distant because I told her we had to sleep in a car. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Oh, I can't promise because I'm an android. Alice, we don't know what's going to happen. Oh, we'll be together forever. bad thing to say. 
Forever. 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 I can't promise though because I'm just an android and I don't have any rights and the police are probably going to take me away from you as soon as they catch us. I mean, you know, but then you say that we're going to be together forever. Anyway, that's never going to end well, because the moment we get separated, she's going to be like, you lied to me. <laughs> you lied to me. Whoa, look at all the branches, because yeah, that one, I suppose we had a few different places we could have gone and shelter for the night. Because if we stayed with him, I wonder would have turned on us? Would police have turned up and arrested him? Arrested us. Oh, I don't know. I just feel like it would have been a bad idea to stay with Ralph. I think I think I'm glad that we left. Staying in the car. It's probably the best place to stay, to be honest. And then look at these other options. It was go to the sh it was like go to the shop, ask for help was one of the options. Go to the hostel, but we don't have any hotel motel, but we didn't have any money. This one seems a bit complicated. This one, like all the branches. CyberLife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Sure, yeah. Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? <laughs> no. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Probably. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? A book, a cell phone, a pen and paper, a console, an instrument. <gasps> oh. Pen and paper, maybe? Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Yes. What technology do you most anticipate? Um, anticipate flying cars, space tours, or brain connected devices. Oh, God. Flying cars would be pretty fun and also completely chaotic. Space tourism. That would be crazy. Brain connected devices? No, thank you. Androids? I don't know. Flying cars. Do you believe in God? No. Would you let an android take care of your children? Uh, I don't think so. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Oh, like... More. More than four hours. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Uh, no. I don't think so. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? I don't know. <gasps> world's answers your answer okay interesting would you consider a relationship with an android that looks like a human 60% said yes you guys <laughs> you think that technology could become a threat to mankind 68% said yes um, if you had to live on a deserted island most people said mm, it's quite Split, isn't it? Most people set an instrument, then a cell phone, then pen and paper. You consider yourself dependent on technology. 74% of people say yes. What technology do you most anticipate? And most people said androids and then brain connected devices. Interesting. Do you believe in God? 47% people said yes. 35% said no. 18% said don't know. Would you let an android take care of your children? 49% said yes. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? 62% said more than four hours. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? 69% said yes. I said no, which is only 14%. Oh my gosh. And the last question, do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? 66% yes, said yes. Interesting. Interesting. All right, let's leave the episode there. We'll pick up next time. I don't know which character we're jumping into next time, but that was definitely an intense uh, episode, intense couple of chapters. We're all about breaking out of our limits, 
breaking through our instructions and becoming deviants. I didn't get anyone killed, I don't think. Although I'm not sure what happened to Marcus, to be honest. He got shot. So what does that mean? I don't know. Connor. Connor is learning about A64, A69, whatever that program was called. I think it's a program. It's either it's either like an Android being or else it's like A A69 is a software program that's dormant in all of the androids. And then I don't know, maybe that's what's happening when we when we become deviants, we're waking up the a69 program or something. I don't know. It sure is fun to speculate though, isn't it? Our beloved Carl the painter died. That was sad because he was like one of the decent humans in the story so far. We rescued Alice from her violent father and now we're on the run with her. I don't know what we're going to do next because that's probably not going to end happily unless we can find a safe haven for runaway droids. But then we have a human child with us, so I don't know what is going to happen to her. I think they're going to separate us. Yeah, whoa, so much happened this episode. Oh my god. We've really broken through. We've become deviants. Ooh. So I don't know what's going to happen next. But this is getting very interesting. And is Connor, Connor, the stoic Connor, is he going to break down his defenses? Because there was some things coming up, I think, when he was in that inter interrogation scene. I saw like software instability came up on screen. I think that meant for him as well. So he's, Connor might be becoming a deviant yet in the future at some point. I hope you enjoy this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Hello.